Good day and welcome to this special virtual celebration hosted by the University of Cape Town. We are honouring the graduates who completed their respective programmes of study in 2021. This event has been pre-recorded and it will be available for viewing on UCT's YouTube channel, on the UCT graduation webpage and on UCT platforms in LinkedIn and Facebook. Graduation is one of the most important events in any university's year. It marks the accomplishment of years of hard work, often under very difficult circumstances. It is a celebration of the sacrifices made by every student, as well as their families and other supporters. Before the pandemic, you would have received your graduation certificates in a capping and hooding ceremony in Sarah Bartman Hall. But as we all know, we need to take the responsible and necessary precautions in the fight against the spread of COVID-19. This means that for now, for your safety and for that of your loved ones, UCT cannot host large gatherings such as graduation events. Instead, we have made special arrangements to confer degrees and award diplomas in absentia. Today's celebration commemorates your achievement and the joy that goes with it. You have crossed an important threshold in your life's journey, and we join you and your loved ones, wherever you are, in celebrating your accomplishment today. As graduates of our esteemed institution, you represent the standard of excellence for which UCT is well known. The educational path you have traveled at UCT is only the start of your life's journey. We are proud of you and we have great expectations of you as you proceed to become leaders of the future in your chosen professions and walks of life. To begin our ceremony, I call upon the UCT Vice-Chancellor, Professor Mamoketi Pakeng, to constitute the congregation. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me as Vice-Chancellor, I constitute this gathering as a congregation of the University of Cape Town. Hello, my name is Lindy Wejoy Secha, and I am a student at GCT, and I will be reading the university dedication. At this time of celebration, we, the members of the University of Cape Town, reaffirm our mission to nurture rational and creative thought and free inquiry, to strive for excellence in teaching and research, to educate for life, and to address the challenges of our society. We undertake to advance these ideals in a spirit of freedom and responsibility and through consultation and debate. We celebrate our founders, benefactors, and predecessors, those who have built the fabric and nourished the values of UCT. To those of you who will graduate today, we wish courage, wisdom, and purpose. To those who will leave the university to learn and work elsewhere, may you be sustained by those values which unite us here today and advance them in the world beyond. A love of truth and of learning and of thus our university. Hello, today at your graduation, we acknowledge and celebrate your academic achievement. You did put in long hours of study, effort and dedication and it paid off. I acknowledge that during your study in this pandemic, it was unprecedented and exceedingly difficult. Many of you had to continue despite having to deal with illness and loss of life among your families and friends. Your hard-earned degree from UCT has immense value. It has given you some of the competencies and skills you need for the workplace, entrepreneurship, and further studies. For those of you heading to the labor market, 
your degree also gives signals to potential employers that you can see long projects through, that you can defer gratification to pursue your dream, that you can rise on time to reasonably demanding assignments. Whatever you are going to do, I charge you to go out there and serve well as our ambassadors. Apply the knowledge you learnt to help solve the challenges in your communities, industries, cities, regions, nations, and continents. As you get new experiences out there, we would like to hear from you about the areas where our degrees ought to do better. The entire Faculty of Commerce is proud to be associated with you, and we are delighted to share in your outstanding accomplishment today as you graduate. We wish you continued success in the next stage of your journey and in all the years to follow. Congratulations. The Vice Chancellor's Medal for 2021 is awarded to Ms. Rapelang Rabana. Rapelang Rabana is a computer scientist, entrepreneur, and keynote speaker. She is currently the founder and chair of Rekindle Learning, a learning technology company which empowers people to respond to the changing world of work through digital learning experiences. Rapelang was born in Khaburone, Botswana, moving to Johannesburg to finish her schooling. Rapelang graduated with honors from UCT in 2005 with a bachelor's degree in business science with a speciality in computer science. Rapelang is no stranger to awards and honors. In 2012, she was on Oprah Magazine's O Power List. In 2013, listed on Forbes 30 Under 30 list for Best Entrepreneurs of Africa. In 2014, named one of the entrepreneurs of the world by the World Entrepreneurship Forum, and in 2017, selected as a young global leader of the World Economic Forum. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I admit to the degree specified and grant the diplomas and certificates specified to the candidates recorded within this virtual graduation ceremony. As children, we dreamed of what we could be. It was a hopscotch of anything being possible. And seeing our future selves was as easy as tossing a stone and skipping from block to block. Being a doctor was an electrical cord turned stethoscope. A toy gavel gave us the authority to judge the world without objection. We transformed into Oprah in front of the mirror, where a deodorant bottle is a microphone. In candlelight and choreographed dance steps, a music video we filmed inside our heads. A lifetime of pretending, where a brick is a car. Plastic bags are soccer balls and swings are airplanes. Tennis balls double up into cricket balls. Stones and sticks are stumps, a merry-go-round of imagination. It was dizzying to believe in ourselves. But no one could tell us otherwise. Even then, we imagined a dream to be formless clay. And we were potters, giving it shape under the press of our palms and our fingertips. There's a kind of magic to transforming the nebulous into the material. How clay becomes a bowl or a teapot. How a dream can become a living. Trusting the fire not to digest what is in the belly of the kiln. The potter fashions the body of the teapot. The spout, the handle, the lid imagines the heat of the water it will hold and the leaves that will brew and bleed color. But the potter does not know who will come for tea, 
whether this teapot will serve every day or only grace special occasions or whether it will hold tea at all or simply perch on a windowsill and harvest light like other pieces of art. Today, you are a dream emerging from the fire, glazed and heated with new knowledge. You may not yet know what you will become, or whether your diploma or degree will make some meaning in the world. You were once formless hope hidden in clay. And here you are, taking shape finding a place in a world that does not seem to have enough for you to show up as a dream. So quench the world with water until it yields under your palms, until the clay bleeds between your fingers. Hollow it out to make space for you and everything you will pour out for us.
Today, we celebrate the 334 graduates who have completed their degree programs in the Faculty of Commerce and are 21 PhD graduates. We honor the hard work, discipline, and passion you each brought to your time here, including what you accomplished during the difficult conditions that were brought about by COVID-19. Your perseverance brought you here today. We also celebrate what lies ahead because your education is so important, not only for yourself, but also for South Africa and the world. I hope you leave UCT with the commitment to make your education count for others as well as for yourself. Thanks to digital technology, we are all global citizens. As much as I would prefer to be standing before you in Sarabartman Hall, I look on this virtual ceremony as an opportunity to think about your reach into the world. In the past, when change came to Africa, it was brought by a colonial power. And today, we have the opportunity and responsibility not only to initiate our own changes, but also to help change the world. In fact, the world needs our point of view because the old ways of thinking have not stopped the world from becoming what it is today. Those of you who are graduating with your PhD have spent years building a perspective on your topic that no one else has achieved. I wish we had time to read out all the thesis titles because they give such a vivid picture of the many different ways these new doctors of philosophy are contributing to African-based knowledge. Here are a few samples. Making a grand challenge the social symbolic work of conserving nature. How end user participation in financial management information systems development engenders a sense of systems ownership in municipalities, a case in South Africa. A conceptualization of the self-perceptions of black professionals in relation to business leadership in South Africa. Authenticity framing and market creation for meta-organizations, the case of the Swartland independent producers in the South African wine field. Every PhD graduate is proof of UCT's mission to be the best for this continent in research that makes a difference in people's lives. Thank you for keeping the African light shining bright. All you graduates, have been through two recent crises with us. The first is the global pandemic. The second is the UCT fire on the 18th of April. On top of those shared experiences, each of you has endured personal trials, mishaps, and perhaps even griefs as students because that is part of life. This means that you have grown at UCT in achieving your degree, you have demonstrated your strength. So after the glow of graduation has worn off a bit, I invite you to think over not just the triumphs, but also the hurdles and mistakes that you experienced in your studies. The world needs those lessons just as much as it needs your educated knowledge. It needs to see your example of courage and growth through the hard times. The UCT community also wants to know your story. So please use e hashtag UCTGrad2021 to share with us your photographs and stories. Tell us how you and your family are celebrating and what you plan for the future. Congratulations. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I hereby dissolve this congregation of the University of Cape Town. Guarda, guarda, 
Oh, my God. 